a beast. Everybody, welcome yourself back to another episode. Wait, 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 wait. Forgot to turn off my EXP multiplier. I'm dumb like that, okay? As I was saying, welcome yourself back to another episode of my Pokemon Hoenn White Egglock. In the last episode, we took down the first gym leader, and uh, we did surprisingly well. Like, I didn't know we were actually gonna do pretty decent there, but uh, for the most part, we didn't really, we, well, uh, no, 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 we really did not struggle one bit, because we got, we got Gen 5 God in, in our team, like, we got, we got the Scraggy dude, so, let me give you a quick team overview, because I leveled everyone up to level 18, not much changed, but you know what, I still may as well go over it. So first up, we got Silky the Eevee, level 18, with Wish, Yawn, Covet, and Tickle, nothing changed there. Next up, we got your boy 15 minutes, I didn't even have to level grind 15 minutes, because he's already level 18. Dragon Dance, Drain Punch, uh, Faint Attack, and Ice Punch. Then we got Lil Lem, level 18, uh, with Faint Attack, Drill Pack, Confuse Ray, Feather Dance. We got Porky, the new Snorlax. He actually evolved as I was level grinding. I didn't necessarily expect that to happen, I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, with Metronome, Tackle, Counter, and Double Edge. I'm gonna have to obviously fix up this moveset as we go along. But the fact that we have a Snorlax right now is actually pretty good. Then we got Mandible. Uh, level 18 with Cut, Superpower, Close Combat, and Bug Bites. I might get rid of one of these two simply because of the fact that, uh, even though they're relatively strong moves, both of them cut something down, and I would rather have at least a decent fighting type move that doesn't cut down on a stat or something, so that we don't run into any issues when going up against specific Pokemon, but, oh. Oh, dang it, I forgot we had to go to Fennel, my bad! <laughs> I completely forgot, uh, but we're gonna be getting another encounter today if I'm not mistaken, so that's gonna be actually real, real cool. So let's just go talk to Fennel. Alright, what do you gotta say, Fennel? Alright, you jump in, ta-da! Thanks to you, I got some Dream Mist and now I can collect save files of- okay, whatever. There we go, the Sea Gear, that's what it's called. Last episode, I mentioned that, um, I mentioned the, the whole thing being similar to the Poketch or whatever. Was it Poketch? I don't know. That thing from um, Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, but I could never remember the name of it. But here we go, we got the Sea Gear, which is pretty cool, you know. Uh, you see the Sea Gear was activated and the screen showed up. Okay, whatever, whatever. Blah, 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 no. <laughs> Fennel, I don't, I don't really care about your whole Sea Gear thing. I'm just trying to get through the game, Fennel, okay? Game sync, whatever. To be honest with you, I've never I never really used the C gear. I I just didn't, which is I guess weird in a sort of sense, but I just simply never did, you know. I mean I know there are probably a lot of people out there who genuinely did with things like Wi-Fi battles and all that, because back in the day, people did actually do Wi-Fi battles, which is surprising because you know it may seem like Wi-Fi battles only became really prominent uh, in uh, X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but no, they were they were around back in the day, back in the Diamond and Pearl and Platinum days. They were around back then, which is mind blowing to see that they're still around today. I might want to pick up a Pokeball or two, but uh, let's see how much. Nope, not not our bag. How much money do we have? That doesn't. Oh wait, oh wait, no, it, it'll say that. I just gotta flip it. We don't have all too much. We are apparently hardy nature. Okay. Nice. Oh, you can make a little signature. I remember that. Oh my god. 
Dude, there are a lot of things I will admit I forgot about this game, but at the same time, there are... It, I probably remember the most, simply because, I don't know, I genuinely enjoyed these, uh, like, the black and white games. Alright, let's just get some Pokeballs real quick. Wow, we can get a lot. Let's get, like, uh, 13 real quick. Why not, man? Alright. Uh, Super Potion, do we have any of those? No, let's get 10. Nice, perfect, 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 perfect. Alright. So now let us continue our wonderful, beautiful, magical journey. Now that we have this whole sea gear and everything, I know we spent like more than enough time here, but now we can finally move on! First off though, who do I want to have in the front? I don't want to have Silky in the front. Silky's not our best member. And I don't want to have Porky. Porky's still- Porky's moveset is still not up to speed, you know? Also, if you just happened to miss last episode or you still don't understand the Porky name, it is, uh, Porky Minch from Earthbound. I guess, yeah, we're Earthbound or the Mother series, there we go. Almost messed that up horribly. Which would be stupid of me, considering the fact that I'm like, a big, 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 big Earthbound slash Mother fan. But uh, I think we're gonna be doing alright here, although I will say we might have our times of struggle here and there, because, um... These guys are a lot stronger than I thought. The only reason I leveled my Pokémon up to level 18 was because I knew for a fact that our rival is like, like their highest level is... 16 or something like the upcoming rival fight here because I know there is one right at the root so Whatever I, I just decided to level up a little bit. You know, I wanted to make sure we were on the safe side um, I don't want to have 15 minutes out because that just be <laughs> that just be overpowered, dude. We got a Vulpix here. Okay That made me realize what we're missing. We need a water type on this team, which we'll probably be able to get in a second Ooh, Oh, you don't slide down it. I thought you did all right these two are not ready for this, because if I'm not mistaken, I think 15- Yep, okay, they're not ready for the duo that is Lil Lem in 15 minutes. This is gonna be ridiculous. Oh! I, I swear to god, I really need to start paying attention more to like some of the music here and there. Alright, you got a weak team. Not a problem, not a problem. Let's go for the faint attack. Um, You go for the drain punch? They don't seem to have any electric type moves, which is actually really good, because, uh... Oh, okay, they do! But they went for 15 minutes instead, which I don't understand, but hey, that's on them. There we go, though, one threat down. Got a nice little level up there. These guys are genuinely idiots. They did not go for, uh, Lil Lem. Why? Right, another plus one minum. I'm actually going to switch into Mandible real quick because, uh, I will admit I am a tad bit afraid, but at the same time, I think we'll be okay at the very least. Alright, luckily we had that Orenberry. Oh my god! <laughs> I was gonna say I might have to heal up 15 minutes in a second here, but he just one-shot that minum, so we do not have to now. Oh my god, that was insane. Well... Jesus, dude, this is what I'm saying. This, this is exactly what I meant, like, Scraggy and Scrafty are basically a Gen 5 god. Like, there's just something about them when they were introduced that just made them, like, amazing, amazing Pokemon. Don't get me wrong, they're still pretty good Pokemon to this day, but obviously some Pokemon either rise above them in, like, the later games or just some Pokemon came along that were better. For example, Talonflame. Talonflame is ridiculous in, um, like, competitive battling and such. Well, that's besides the point. We are not competitive battling here. We got an encounter here, though, so let me make sure we got the, the squad ready. Who do I want to have in the front? I'm not sure about this, but I think our rival might lead off with their starter, which is Trico. So let's have 15 minutes in the front real quick. Luna, stop. We both have a trio badge, so let's see which one of us is stronger. Okay, man. If you say so, but get ready to get beat. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it just <laughs> your your sprite literally just moved a tiny bit. That's all it did. Oh, and my bad. My bad. I confused him for um, what's her face? I confused him for uh, Bianca for some reason. All right, all right. Might have missed. Guess what though? Alright, alright, it'll- it'll- it'll be A-OK, -okay, you know, you know, we might seem like we're struggling a little bit. Don't worry though, once- 
Now that we got that set up, here's what we can do. Drain Punch, gone. And a critical hit. We are fully healed up once again. See what I mean? See exactly what I mean? Plus the Moxie. We are gonna one-shot his whole team now, basically. You know, I would say I'm afraid of this Talo. I'm really not. Now I am. We ate it up, though. And boom. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Brick Break. No, thank you. Even though it's a pretty good move, Drain Punch right now works a lot better for us. Let's go for the Drain Punch, get the heal up. There we go. 15 minutes just unscathed, basically. I see, so that's how you battle. Yeah, by setting up and just obliterating your team. Out of the way! Alright. What was that about? Bianca, why are you running? Hey, where were those people headed? That way, but... Why are you running now? Oh, seriously, they run so fast. No, they don't. Miss, uh, my Pokemon. It'll be okay, it'll be okay. She's, she's not crying. Bianca, really, why were you running? Sharon, are you stupid? <laughs> Those people stole this girl's Pokemon, Jesus Christ. How did they manage to do that, though? Did, did she just happen to be carrying the Pokeballs in her hand? And then they were just like, hey, can we see those for a second? And then they just run off with them or something. Is that what they did? Also, let's be careful here, because of course we're going to be getting the encounter here. So we got to make sure we're able to, uh, you know, like, cut him down a little bit in health. Okay, we'll send in Silky, because he's got Yawn. I just realized that our team is just manpower right now. All right, what is our encounter? It doesn't really matter. We got a Taylo. Okay. Taylo ain't too strong. So we'll probably be able to um, weaken it a little bit. So we'll go for the yawn real quick. Alright. I would say try a covet, but let me let me think for a second. What does that do? Alright, let's go for covet then. Don't okay, perfect. Now you're gonna fall asleep, and that's it's done. That's an easy encounter right there. Let's go for the great ball just in case though. I'm not too sure if it'll catch it. Perfect. There we go. Nope. Okay. So let's go get our in, uh, ooh, there's this shaking grass there, but I don't, <laughs> I need to go get my counter. All right, so what level are you real quick, though? You are level 13. That's actually not half bad, because the, the then when we get the Pokemon and Hatchet and everything, it'll, it'll be, like, around our level. All right, so let's heal up. And let's get this Pokemon real quick. We're already going to have a team of six, which is actually amazing. All right. So, Taylo... Get up on out of here. Let me just move this around. All right, what do we got? So level 13. How does Rose Rosie Divine? Oh God, the name does not fit. <laughs> All right, what are you gonna be? What are you gonna be? It's time. It's time. I don't know what you're gonna be. That's the problem. You are a. Okay, okay. Would you like to give a nickname? Um, all right. So it was like Rosie Divine. If I misspell it, my bad. So it was Rosie with like two E's and then Divine. My bad if I. Div it doesn't fit. Okay. <laughs> That's probably why it did that. So we're just gonna have to put Rosie Divine. <laughs> Rosie Devon. Well, sorry about that. So let's see. We oh yeah, yep. Yeah, we gotta check up if you're legitimate or not. That name wasn't legitimate though. <laughs> that name didn't even fit. That's the funny part. All right, so we gotta go meditate real quick. So meditate. All right. So pure power. That's legitimate. Okay, now for that move set. So. Drain Punch is legitimate, Psycho Cut, uh, legitimate, Fake Out, hold up, legitimate, and Ice Punch, legitimate, alright, perfect, so we got a legitimate, we got a legitimate Pokemon here, that's great, so let's get the rare candies, so we gotta bump this thing up to level 13, so let's do that, meditate, no thank you, all right, we got we got a pretty nice team, I will admit. 
Perfect, there we go. You're only like five levels behind everyone as well, which is surprising. I thought you would have been like an insane amount behind everyone or whatever. And this isn't that bad of a move setup. But like, eh, this isn't that bad of a move set either. It has pretty decent coverage. Uh, Psycho Cut is a pretty solid move. Drain Punch, you already know it's a pretty good move, regardless of like, I guess what's po what Pokemon's using it. If a Pokemon is just able to get off a super effective hit with Drain Punch, it's pretty useful basically, regardless of like, oh, this Pokemon's using it, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, whatever. So I guess we'll just continue on ahead. If I'm not mistaken, we got to go to the cave up around here. I think, oh yeah, 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 we also got that item there. I might want to go and get that real quick, just in case it's something useful. You never know. All right, so let's, let's pop this repel real quick. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Are you a trainer? Yes, you are. I was actually not expecting you to be a trainer. Oh my God, you got <laughs> You have a pretty decent, like, team. Like, how do you have, what, five or so Pokemon? What is it? Hey, you got five Pokemon. Why do you got five Pokemon? You're stupid. Let me not mess up Silky here real quick. Let's, uh, let's, let's switch to Mandible real quick. Mandible, even though we haven't been using Mandible much, Mandible is a pretty solid Pokemon regardless. Like, uh, since a lot of these Pokemon seem to have things like, like, what's it called? Like, dark types and such. Cause you know, Poochyanna and them were like a big sort of Pokemon. That was just used, I guess, back in the day. Not even like, j mostly by trainers, like just NPCs and everything. I'm not talking like by people. So, so it's like now that we have, so we have two Pokemon that can do super effective moves to him, which is great actually. Like we are set for that. Oh my God, <laughs> we we already got two level 20 Pokemon. I'm sorry if you think we're over leveled. We are actually not insanely over leveled. Trust me. Uh, this game is a lot like uh, Blaze Black and everything in the sense that levels are a lot more steep. I suppose they just sort of go up, and um, yeah, gets out of hand. Is what I'm trying to get at. Let's see up Silky a little bit though, and it will be fine. So what do you gotta say? They ran inside here, Luna. Your Pokemon's HP is fine. You're ready to go, right? Yes. Oh boy, Luna. This bothersome, but this bothersome bunch really doesn't listen to reason. That child cannot use Pokemon to its full potential. Doesn't that make a Pokemon sad? No. Oh god. I will say I'm still not over how amazing this music actually is, though. Like, why? Why is this music so amazing, though? Like, honestly, they they did a real good job with like the I guess the Hoenn esque soundtrack they did for uh, Hoenn White and everything. Alright, let's see. Let's go for the counter just in case. So you went for the howl. Okay, so you're raising your attack. That could actually be potentially dangerous. Let's go for the tackle real quick though. Oh my god! <laughs> you did like a small sliver of health. Meanwhile, we're doing all, all of your health. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, you got a coughing? You got a coughing? You got a cough. You look at this coughing. Dead. Oh. Oh, almost dead. You know, Porky is a lot more bulkier than I thought. Like, that is nice. I, I thought he might have been able... Oh, my bad. I hit my mic. I thought he would have, like, taken more damage and stuff. But no, he ate up every single hit there. Wait, there's more? Oh, God. I didn't realize there would actually be more, though. That's kind of bad for us. Oh, jeez. Don't tell me there's more, though. Because if there is, that might actually lead to some trouble here and there. Alright, so let's see. What do we got? What do we got? We got more Poochie and a Poochie and a Zubat, okay. Alright, Porky. Ready to eat up these hits real quick? Uh let's let's try and take out the Zubat real quick. Why not? Something about the Zubat is a bit on the sketchy side, you know? Gotta make sure we take this man out immediately. Alright, Zubat's gone, Poochiena dead. There we go. That's teamwork right there. I'm surprised. Porky did get a little bit low on health, but I was not worried one bit because. It's Porky, dude. Porky can take a hit, from what I've seen. Alright, what do you mean trainers are making Pokemon suffer? I don't get that at all! We'll give you back the Pokemon, but be aware of- be aware of how this Pokemon suffers from being used by people. No, it doesn't! Jesus Christ! These people are crazy. They've been brainwashed by that man Getsis. 
and his Mickey Mouse voice that I gave him. Dude, I just love the fact that I gave him that voice, though. Like, that is the perfect voice to give an evil villain, to be honest. Like, whenever you hear an evil villain, don't you just think of, like, an anticlimactic... Oh, wait, are we gonna battle you? I th if I'm not mistaken... Oh, no, no, no. I thought we were gonna battle Bianca. For some reason, I thought that was gonna be the case here, but no, 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 no. Thank God it, it was not. Um... So there we go, we didn't make an insane amount of progress today, but hey, we got a brand new team member, we got a full team of six now, I didn't expect us to have a full team of six, like, this early on, I'm su I'm genuinely surprised. Like, we are doing amazingly. Let me not, <laughs> let me not jinx myself though, because I know, um, if I get a bit too far ahead of myself, then we're obviously gonna, uh, we're gonna suffer for it later. But, uh, you know what, I'm gonna end off the episode here, it's slightly under what I normally do. But, uh, it's been a pretty good episode. You know, I'm gonna, of course, train up... I'm, of course, gonna train up Rosie D Divine or Devin now, I guess, because the name doesn't fit. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you have enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you're really feeling it. And that's gonna be it for this video. I shall see you guys next time. See ya!